With the mission of making people's lives easier, safer, and better, Volvo Cars has been pioneering innovation in safety, quality, and luxury since it was founded in 1924 with the signature Iron Arrow. Today, Volvo Cars' focus is on the human being with a strategy of technology designed around you. And what we are trying to do is actually be able to capture data and analyze data to really be able to give the customer experience that, that we, you as a customer, expect uh, and, and on an individual basis. But it, the customers is in the center and that's why we try to focus our efforts in this area. Data, analytics and the Internet of Things are fueling that innovation in every area of Volvo cars. Design, diagnostics, service, warranty, dealerships, marketing and sales, even education for owners about the features in their vehicles. At the hub, Volvo's connected car. I think we, we have been entrepreneurs when it comes to connectivity. We call it Volvo on call, which is our telematic service. We had a big penetration for that service. And now we're up having a global solution for our connected vehicles uh, with the same setup. And that is, we, we see ourselves in, in, in a well, top position there. Um, but it all comes down to what we could do with it and, and what, what the services we could deliver to the customers. 80 to 90% of Volvo cars are connected with customer permission, benefiting both customer and car maker. It comes in, in different ways. One way is certainly the Internet of Things, the fact that the vehicle is now online. That gives a total other perspective on the car and the car driving and, 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 and all the services we could provide. Services like using geolocation data combined with sensor data from nearby connected cars to warn drivers of icy conditions or other road hazards ahead. Detecting features that aren't being used in a Volvo and sending owners videos to educate them. Not everything is so uh, user-friendly so, so you can actually take it on directly. You need to learn step by step and some, some things perhaps you just utilize in the winter time, you got the car in the summertime and you, you don't get to, to use, use to it. And scoring customer satisfaction data from more than 2,300 dealerships and service centers, finding the most successful and sharing with other dealers best practices. We could see correlations on, on how our, our, our customer satisfaction is going. With this knowledge, we actually put up for uh, every dealer uh, a, like a scorecard and with an action plan, what they need to do based on what the customers that were in last month actually had experienced. And, and we're, we're de like developing this over time, knowing which are the crucial parameters that, that makes customer satisfied with their virtual business. With 80 to 90% of Volvos connected, Volvo cars could feel a data deluge, but they see it as a strategic opportunity. Collecting all clicks on Volvo.com and combining those with connected car data into the Teradata Aster environment. That's really a massive amount of information around the, and, and we should be able to tailor more or make bespoke uh, solutions to all the different customers on, on the, having the different needs and, and address them in different ways and also learn for future products, future features, uh, and not, not just the product themselves but it's, it's pretty much we, we believe that it has been, it is still a technology, technology game in, in the car industry. The technology comes up with all the features around the car, all the services and that's really we believe as, as being the more strategic part, more important uh, role uh, that we could play and, and, and well, well, where they, where actually the decisive game is going to stand. How could we serve our customers better? Disruption in the automobile market means those consumers complete most of the buyer's journey online. Identifying those buyers when they walk into the dealership is game changing. They know they know which, which uh, color, they know which packages they want to have. Uh, but they want to come to, to look upon the colors perhaps in, in real life and, and they, they make a test run. We can't offer that online, but uh, otherwise it's pretty much of the sales activity is already done online as well. And th that's also game changing. And certainly next step then selling cars 
full cars just by by pushing on the web uh, saying yes um, it's it's coming there as well and, and that that makes uh, some type of disruption to the business using predictive analytics volvo cars is already predicting failure rates on components in cars allowing them to save millions on the supply chain and warranty parts of the business looking to the future volvo cars is launching an early warning system for drivers it does 500,000 uh, hazard analysis uh, weekly um, and uh, that really requires uh, quite some power and, and uh, otherwise we wouldn't have been able to do it and that's really what, what makes us have this uh, prediction models for, for future failure in, in, in the vehicles. Volvo Cars, fueling innovation with data, analytics and the Internet of Things so that every Volvo is designed around you.